hello everybody today is the 14th of march 2022 and today it's my birthday so today is my birthday the 14th of march 2022 and on a divine note i celebrate my birthday with my husband as well because we share the same birthday and i just want to thank god for how far he has brought us for his divine provision his divine protection and um just a word from me um life is what you divine it to be life could be anything for you to be a a, the best version of yourself you have to accept who you are as a person you have to understand who you are you have to be full in yourself you have to have that inner peace marriage can give you happiness having children can give you happiness that job you're striving to get cannot give you happiness that piece of clothing that's so expensive that you're like, oh, I'm going to get this, that handbag, that shoe. It's not going to give you happiness. You have to get your happiness from within. And why it's so important to be happy from within is because you get to a stage in life where things might seem unrosy. So all you have to do is just to deep down in yourself and look for that strength to continue to go further life could be many things life could be up life could be down but whatever kind of anything at all occurrence or incident that life throws at you you know that you are striving towards becoming you you can't be in competition with anybody you have to be in competition with your yesterday so your today could be better strive to learn strive to teach you learn from people and you give your service to humanity as well and everyone needs a mentor and i always say to people one mentor is never enough because i don't believe what God has called me to be is in one person. Absolutely not. And this is not pride. The version, the purpose that God has given me, it's not in one person. So one mentor is never enough. And I'm talking about mentorship. You don't necessarily have to have a really personal relationship with who you want to be your mentor. Your mentor could be somebody that you know that don't even know you. You know, you pay attention to what they are doing properly because that's what you're aspiring to do. If you want to be closer to God, you look for spiritual mentors. If you want to do business and you want to strive in that business, you look for somebody who can be your business mentor. And as well, you have to be able to mentor other people. You have to be a mentee and, and have a mentor. No mentor is never enough. It's never enough. Life is full of a lot of people. Some people will come into your life to just say hello and then they go. Never hold on to people that are supposed to pass by. And never let go of people that are supposed to stay. One thing you should keep in mind that everybody that you know will never be on the journey with you. Whatever journey that you are on. Sometimes your support system might not be people who are your, you know, people who are so close to you. But I believe that for every path that a man wants to journey, there are people on that path that God has placed there to make that journey worthwhile. So, the most important thing with life is to be mentally stable. And how can you be mentally stable? You have to know Christ. You have to know God. You have to be closer to God. It's the only person. It's, God is the only thing that can 
make everyone, even if you're journeying through trials and tribulations, you know that somebody superior is in that journey with you. So, life is whatever you think of it. Be happy. Even the Bible says, be at peace with all men. But that doesn't mean everybody should be your friend. When people drain your energy, you need to put a boundary there. <coughs> so you have to be the best version of yourself. We are all striving towards something. Maybe that's why we sit at the feet of Jesus to learn more. Whatever it is that you're hoping, oh, maybe one day I'll be able to do this. Oh, I don't like this attitude of mine. I want to get it better. You have to be full yourself. You have to be full. You have to be happy. You have to be happy. You cannot give what you don't have. You have to be extremely happy within. Because nothing on this health can give you happiness. So you notice that after acquiring all these things, the fullness, the joy is still not there. You have to understand who you are as a person. Look in the mirror, see how beautiful you look. So that somebody will not tell you otherwise. Somebody will not say, oh, see how ugly you look and you start crying. Because you already know. You're beautiful. So that's just it. Like, I'm so happy today is my birthday. And... Um, one of the important things that I love to do is to spend time with myself. And I thank God that um, I'm able to do that today. It's not like I don't like people, but I'm the type of person that's energized in my own space, if you understand what I mean. So I'm happy that I'm able to spend time with myself. Nobody's crying, nobody's looking for an attention. Well, until maybe you have one or two. Bible said that I'm happy. I'm happy. We are all in good health. We eat. We're able to sleep. And we are here. I'm learning every day. I'm teaching people what I know. I'm trying to be better than my yesterday. Just be at peace with yourself. And like I said, everybody you know will not be on that journey with you. Don't be all like this with people. Don't hold on too tightly to people. You get upset when you hold too firmly. You, you put people to, you know, in high chair and they mess up. You get upset. Let people be who they are. And you be who you are. So, happy birthday to me. I'm the birthday girl. I'm happy. I'm at peace. I'm extremely calm today. I'm just grateful and the sun came to play. <laughs>